and welcome to the Best Buy Vlog. My name is Ray, and in this video I'll be reviewing the Unplugged Beauty Cordless Curling Wand. Curling wands are a relatively new phenomenon. They're pretty common, and it feels like every single beauty YouTuber who has ever existed has one, but they were rare when I did my cosmetology training back in... I don't want to age myself, but 2008. Even rarer still are products like this one. As the name suggests, this one inch curling wand is totally cordless. In the box of the Unplugged Beauty Titanium Cordless Curling Wand, you'll find three pretty simple components. First, there's the curling wand itself, which has a one inch barrel and rose gold finishes, and is powered by a rechargeable dual voltage lithium ion battery. You can style your hair for 35 to 40 minutes on a single charge, which for me is about three hair styling sessions, but it might just be one for others. The one inch titanium curling wand has a simple digital interface and heats from 200 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Also included is a wall charger, heat resistant silicone cover, and an instruction manual. Okay, so I've partitioned off my hair into different sections, um, and I'm pretty good at hairstyling. I'm by no means great, but I'm better at it than your average Joe. That being said, I still frequently struggle to do my own hair, and as a huge klutz, I usually have trouble with curling wands. When you're looking at choosing a curling wand versus a curling iron, the difference is mostly in the clamp. On a curling iron, the clamp holds your hair flush to the iron from top to bottom. This makes it easier to spin, but it gives it more of a pressed look. So you can see a clamp line if it isn't done correctly, and the hair tends to go in to the curling iron with the same thickness all the way down the hair shaft. But if you look closely to this video, when you're using a curling wire wand, you can sort of play with how the hair gets to the wand. If you wrap your hair flat around the iron, you get a more pressed look, much like a traditional curling iron. But if you twist your hair a little before wrapping it around the iron, you can achieve more of a ringlet-like curl. If you do a mix of both, you get sort of a soft, beachy wave once you brush everything out. So, in other words, uh, curling irons are very reliable and they're easy to use, but curling wands can offer you a few styles that curling irons just don't do as well. And even though I usually struggle quite a bit with them, I actually found this one from Unplugged Beauty to be pretty easy to use. It was easier for me to get the waves that I wanted using a cordless curling wand compared to a traditional one, and the iron got nice and hot. It was just super simple. As I wrapped my hair, I didn't have an extra cord to pull at or avoid getting tangled in or worry about bringing the entire contraption down with. If you're relatively confident in your hairstyling abilities and you want a hot tool that's convenient and quite versatile, then something like this would be a great product for you. Right now, I'm curling my hair to get that sort of super basic stereotypical angel waves sort of beachy waves look and it's just one of those nice reliable hairstyles that you can pull off in like 10 minutes and not really worry about to get it just wind your hair around this one inch barrel starting flat near your roots and if you want twisting slightly towards your ends so that the hair is a little more bundled as the ends get wrapped in then finish by leaving the last one to I'd say three inches of your hair uncurled let your hair cool, it'll look a little funny as it cools, and loosely brush through the whole look once everything has set. As someone who hates being limited by corded electronics, I really loved using this curling wand. It made the process way less cumbersome, and I can see it being great for people who move around a lot. I tend to follow the sun in the mornings, so if it's really dreary out, I'll do my hair in the basement in my office, or. If I'm in a rush, I might do it in the bathroom, or if it's a beautiful day like it is in this video, I'll do it in the living room with my cat. Um, this curling wand would be great for anyone who just wants a curling wand that doesn't have the cord, but it's also ideal for anyone who travels with the sun or maybe travels from location to location. All in all, I really enjoyed using this and I would definitely recommend it. So if you're interested, Make sure to check out my full review at the Best Buy blog as I fix every single last little curl and wait for things to set before brushing out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one!
Thank you.